How did I go from watching The Hub almost three times a day as well as going to the clubs every weekend to try to fornicate with different women, being completely possessed by my lustful desires, to now a man of God who has retained his seed for over four years in a row. And is this possible for you? Can you actually defeat lust? Well, yes, you can. And today I'm going to share with you some strategies that I use to completely destroy the spirit of lust that had control over my life. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, down below if you are new and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Lust is a thing that really plagues a lot of men and women who are trying to follow Christ. Lust is the enemy of mankind. Let's just be real. It's an extremely hard thing to overcome and a lot of people in the church have difficulties overcoming lust. A lot of Christians are still watching the hub, they're still fornicating, and this shouldn't be the case. However, I'm not condemning you or shaming you if you are one of those people, but I am going to share with you powerful revelations that I learned in my walk with Christ that helped me defeat the spirit of lust permanently. Yes, permanently. It is possible. Possible, but you need to use wisdom and I'm going to share that today. First, I'm going to walk you through my own personal experiences on how I was able to filter out lust on social media. When I first got saved and gave my life to Jesus Christ, I was still having to deal with, you know, women basically half naked on Instagram and TikTok posting videos. This was very troubling for me because I had just given my life to the Lord, but I was still falling into lust by watching these videos. However, using my wisdom with the social media algorithms, I was able to figure out how to get this content to stop popping up on my page. You see, when lust tries to creep its way in through social media, you need to hit it at the source and completely destroy it. When I would get on Instagram and maybe a woman wearing a bikini or some yoga pants would pop up on my explore page, what I would do is I would hold down the post. I would put my thumb on the post, hold it down, and then there was a button where you could click not interested. I would click that button and this would train the algorithm to not recommend photos to me of women dressed in bikinis or yoga pants or whatever it may be. And the same goes for women too. Like if you see a guy, you know, without his shirt on, you know, posting his abs and muscles, I understand that woman lust over that stuff too. So the same can apply to you. You just hold down the post on Instagram and click not interested. TikTok was another big issue because on TikTok there are people posting provocative videos 24 seven. So one thing I noticed is that I could hit the share button on TikTok and there was also a button called not interested. I would click that button and this would train the social media algorithm on TikTok to not recommend lustful content to me anymore. When I got saved, this was an extremely effective method to help me guard my eyes from falling into lust. In 2 Timothy 2.22, it says to flee from youthful lust. Notice how that verse says flee and not fight. You see, as a man or a woman of God, you are not called to fight lust because lust is not something you can fight. You you have to flee from it. You have to run away from it completely. So when you encounter a temptation that is going to cause you to lust, simply flee. Don't try to resist it. Don't try to fight through it. Run. Seriously. I'll give you a backstory on how I did this. So about a year and a half into my salvation, I went out one night with a friend and should I have done this? No but I did it anyways and I learned my lesson. And I live in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, so I went to downtown Fort Worth this one night and I was on 7th Street and my buddy had a friend who was a DJ and he was playing EDM house music. I shouldn't have been in this scenario. I'm a man of God and I'm about to go to a rooftop patio and although I wasn't gonna drink or party, you know, I still wanted to go on a rooftop and listen to EDM house music and little to my knowledge, the rooftop was actually an extension of a bar. Anyway, stupid decision, never did it again. And I was only a year and a half into my salvation and so I was still kind of a baby Christian. But the reason why I shared this is because there was a woman who was working outside of the rooftop bar area and she had recognized me from social media. For those who don't know, I used to be pretty popular in the world and so, you know, a lot of worldly people would still recognize me and this woman who was working at the front, I mean, full on Jezebel, right? Cleavage out. I could just sense in the spirit that like this was a very provocative woman and sure enough, she definitely was. Very attractive woman, which is what made this really hard. But she comes up to me, says, oh, big Nick, I want watch your videos, ask to take a photo with me. And I'm like, sure, why not? Let's take a photo. And as we're taking the photo, keep in mind, this is a very attractive woman. She's starting to caress my shoulders. And you know, I'm a man of God, but I, I'm going to be honest with you. I was getting aroused during this experience. And I had to literally fight in my mind and rebuke that spirit of lust and fornication. And I was literally fighting demons as this woman is like taking a photo with me and caressing me because I knew the demons in her were trying to seduce me. And I'm literally in a battle in the spirit fighting against these principles. I was able to stay collected and I overcame that temptation. And as this woman tries to hold my hand three different times, I literally just run away from her. I fled. 
I, I couldn't fight that because if I had stayed there and tried to fight that feeling of lust, I would have lost even as a man of God. That's why it's so important that we flee from lust because we are not called to fight it. And that's exactly what I did in that situation. Should I have been in that scenario? Absolutely not. But I did it. I learned my mistake and I moved on. Another way that lust will try to creep in is through intrusive thoughts. And we know that intrusive thoughts are demons. One of my favorite scriptures in 2 Corinthians 10 5 gives us a really good perspective in how to combat these intrusive thoughts of lust. Casting down arguments in every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing in every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Any lustful thought that you have, you need to immediately rebuke it capture it and bring it back down to hell where it came from and make it obey the authority of God. You cannot let these lustful thoughts to plant a seed because when it plants a seed, it brings forth demonic fruit. So any lustful thought you may be having, whether it may be from an ex of, oh, I miss when me and my ex did this together back when I was in the world, whatever it may be. I don't know your situation. You have to capture that immediately, rebuke it in the name of Jesus and thank God. Thank God because you're living in righteousness. Thank God because you are the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. And greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. You need to rebuke these thoughts by bringing them down and combating them with scripture. That is a very effective way to destroy lustful intrusive thoughts. Another important way that I was able to stop watching the hub, I was able to stop fornicating and lusting all in general is through intimacy with Jesus. You see, when you're watching pornography or you're in fornication, you're actually glorifying Satan and you're in the secret place with demons. But when you're in the secret place with Jesus Christ, having an intimate relationship with him, it is better than any sexual gratification that you may get from watching pornography or having sex. Now, sex is a good thing and it's created for marriage, but sex outside of marriage is sin. But if you're married, go do your thing, bro. <laughs> like, you earned it. Anyways, being in the secret place with Jesus Christ is the key to receiving true intimacy and not having to chase counterfeit intimacy with demons. If you're struggling with lust, just make it a mission every day to spend time with Jesus in the morning, soak in his presence, get in his word, and you'll notice a drastic difference and you won't have cravings for intimacy anymore because you are being intimate with the Holy Spirit instead. Another huge key is avoiding secular music. Secular music can often entice you to have lustful thoughts because a lot of the substance in today's secular music, all it is is about sex. So if you're constantly hearing that, even though you enjoy the beat and you don't really pay attention to the lyrics, it doesn't matter. The lyrics are still permeating your subconscious mind, and that may be why you're being enticed into doing sexual things. So you want to cut out any secular music and make it your mission to do so, because that secular music is warring against your subconscious mind. My final tip that I want to give you guys is treat lust like it's an object that is flying at your face and about to harm you. What I mean by that is this. If you see a tennis ball flinging at you at rapid speed, what's your first reaction going to be? It's going to be to flinch and protect yourself from it. And we have to have the same mindset when lust tries to get thrown our way. We have to have our reflexes snap and guard ourselves against that. Because an injury from lust is actually your eternal soul being damned to hell. And eternal damnation is worse than a physical injury from a tennis ball. You know, Jesus says in Matthew 18, 8 through 11, that it's better to go into this life maimed than to go into the lake of fire with a fully able body. Literally, physical injury is better here on earth than not having any physical injury but going to hell. And we have to understand that the objective of lust is to take us to hell. It is from the pits of hell itself. That will bring the fear of God into you and it will make you second guess next time you want to watch The Hub or go fornicate with some Jezebel. Now this knowledge is very important, but some people may be following this knowledge and they still won't get any breakthrough and they'll still fall back into the same cycles. And that that's because you may actually have an unclean spirit inside of you. Yeah, a demon inside of you. Yes, Christians can have demons. It's not talked about that much, and that's why a lot of Christians deal with lust. So if you've tried all of these things, if you still can't get any breakthrough, I want to pray for you right now, and we're going to cast that unclean spirit out of you in Jesus' name. Father God, I just thank you right now for whoever is on the screen. And Lord, I just pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every unclean spirit that is in them, that's causing them to lust, that's causing them to fornicate, I bind it in the name of Jesus Christ, and I cast it out right now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. You will not torment this man or woman of God any longer. Come out every unclean spirit of lust or fornication. Your time is up and obey the authority of Jesus Christ right now in Jesus' name. Come up and out of them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Get out, all of you, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. If you felt anything from that, please leave a comment down below and let me know because maybe it's not even a mindset problem. Maybe it's a demon problem, but not everything is a demon. You still have a flesh that you choose to come in agreement with. I hope this video gave some of you guys the breakthrough that you needed and just know that it is possible as a Christian to be completely free from lust, to be completely free from pornography and fornication. When I was in the world, I was addicted to all of these things and now I'm four years in a row clean from everything. The sun is starting to get in my eyes now and I think that's God's cue 
for me to end this video. So with that being said, God bless all of you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Comment down below and let me know if this helped you out. I'm gonna try to finish the rest of this video with the sun in my eyes, but if you wanna watch my music video that I just posted, click up here. And if you guys wanna subscribe to my channel, click up here. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Cross up on my chain. Brand new lane. Heaven my domain. The world I gained. But it